Hi, it's Jess. I'm gonna show you how to alter our beautiful natural brass feather. This is our 53 by 12 millimeter feather. It also comes in a larger size. This one works great um, creating a loop on one end and then forming it with our pliers for a bracelet connector that forms on the side of your wrist. So that's what we're gonna do here. And this is my journey bracelet kit where you'll find these components. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and use, you could use your round nose pliers to take this end of the feather to form a loop. And that way we'll connect that with a jump ring. So I like to work somewhat in the center or the larger part of the plier to form this loop. And you can start off by working right there on the tip of it and start forming this around just by turning our wrist and continuing to do so and then tuck that end in. So now you can see that this is a complete full loop. I'm gonna do it just a little bit more. And then I take my plier here and then I'm going to gently hold, I'm holding this and I'm just gently forming, pulling up. So this creates a little curve here too and it's not completely bent backwards. You would do that to both and then you'll see that this end has a pre-punched hole in it already. And then with our double cylinder pliers, this comes with a three quarter inch cylinder and five eighths inch cylinder. And we just want to gently form this to fit on the curve of your wrist. So here you can see these are all curved. And then the long journey piece this is in our pewter antique finish. This has a very slight curve to it, and with your hands, you could gently form it a little bit more if needed. So I'm gonna rest the larger um, three-quarter inch side on the back end of the feather and start squeezing gently here on the end, and then use my thumb to push down and form it. So I'm just opening the pliers and moving the feather along as I um, form it with my hands also. And you could do this as little or as much as needed. You could test it out on the side of your wrist to see how it fits. You might need to take just the tip and do the tip end a little bit more. So I'll go ahead and do that to both pieces to form this really cool bracelet connector. And that's as easy as that. I just have a variety of jump rings then connecting these pieces together. And I start with the whole end of the feather and connect it to the journey piece. And then the end where we formed a loop. Now that end is gonna go through our natural brass 10.25 millimeter jump ring. And you just simply open that jump ring and string it through that large opening there. And then you can see I connected two sterling silver antique oval jump rings to that and then another 10 millimeter, a 10.25 millimeter to connect to the fold over clasp. And I'm gonna repeat that same thing on this end here. A super easy project and like I said, you could do this with a variety of our longer pieces as well and form these really neat bracelet connectors. Check out my Grand Canyon color story on the blog for more inspiration.